Everyone, this is Josh of Pixel 6 Designs here again. Um, so I'm back with another 3D printed design here. Um, so this time around I'm presenting my Airsoft Shotgun Shell Caddy. So basically this is a quick grab shell caddy here. Essentially you load in shells from the top and you pull them out from the bottom. Um, so it's designed to fit up to eight airsoft goblin shells or eight of the APS shells there. It is designed to fit and use both of them there. Um, though it's a little bit on the big side for the APS shells, so you might run into some issues with them um, moving around a bit, essentially. So essentially with the, uh, with the overall design, you have the top lid here. Uh, it's just pressure fit into the system here, so basically um, any sort of pressure that's going to be coming out of this thing as far as retaining this shell is going to be coming out in this fashion. Uh, and it's more than strong enough to hold that. Uh, if this works itself loose over time, um, it should still be okay, but what we're looking at is that you might want to put some Velcro over the top of it, but that's really about all you would need to really do with it there. It's just literally to keep shells from flying out the top. Um, as far as printing parts here, it is six parts. Um, you have the main body, the lid, two retention springs, and a uh, belt clip assembly here, which is just two plates with um, a couple of th pieces of three millimeter filament holding it together there. So uh, when you're assembling this thing, I will make two notes here. So the first note is that with the leaf springs here, you're going to notice that they're printed quite long. They're actually, um, I made them, or left them long so that uh, people with different sort of um, filament strengths and flexibility of uh, filament uh, will be able to trim them as needed to help sort of retain their shotgun shells. Uh, not to mention that different shotgun shells have different, um, you know, sizes of diameter which require different, um, you know, space to actually get them out. Um, this is actually cut a little bit too big for the APS shell, so it essentially just slides right out right now. Um, whereas with the goblin shells, it actually is just right where it actually takes a little bit of force to get them out of there. Um, now, when you're assembling this also, um, you're going to note you see those little black dots in the back there. Those are actually little pieces of 3mm filament that I've used to help sort of um, make a physical bond between the uh, belt the belt attachment and the body of the shell caddy itself there. So um, so when you're assembling this thing together here, uh, just keep in mind that when you're gluing in these uh, retention springs that you're only gluing it towards the back of it. Um, if it's ABS, I would definitely suggest that you use um, some acetone there to sort of go ahead and actually weld the pieces together there. Um, now, also onto the belt latch itself, it is meant to fit up to the uh, two and a quarter, two and a half inch. Um, can't remember off the top of my head how big this is, uh, but essentially it's it's meant to fit the um, the old school military belt. So this is pretty much the widest belt you're going to get as far as most military or airsoft gear out there. So um, it should accommodate most to all sizes there. Um, and so basically, if you want though, you can. Um, modify or change up the plates you're using. Um, so I've got two plates made here. So essentially the first of which is going to be the plate with some actual teeth on them so to help sort of grip its place. If you're using a smaller belt I suggest using two of these um, as your hinge. These are identical pieces there. Um, they're just ones without and basically has holes um, and the other one has teeth and the holes to actually help better attach it but essentially if you use two smooth pieces you can just simply glue it on it should be fine although I like the mechanical uh, attachment point as well with the little pieces of filament um, or you can use two of these tooth ones here and it basically will assemble a little bit more with more strength um, as far as the hinge what I'm using is just little pieces of three millimeter filament um, heated up one of the ends and just mushroomed it out so it doesn't go all the way through and fall out continuously. Um, don't know where that piece of filament went. Okay. Uh, but essentially this is just then going to be an active hinge here. And so you would just fit this through your belt or over your belt and then, then we'll basically have this. So um, it fits a bit of an awkward angle having these out at, but essentially you can grab these shells here just like this and then load them into your into your airsoft weapon of choice there. Um, oh, also a little update with this here. 
Uh, people are asking for APS shells here to be fitting into my Wastelanders rebuttal here. Well, it turns out they actually do fit all the way inside without falling out, um, and they fit in such a way that they're still usable, essentially. So you can hear it lining the shell up, and then it actually activates the piston inside of it. So you can use it without any modifications here with this shell, with this barrel here. Um, though, keep in mind here that there's going to be a little bit loose and rattly inside there. But um, what I'm figuring of doing in the future is I'm going to actually print out a couple of adapter rings. So one will keep the right height, and the other adapter ring will keep it centered in here. So that's something to come in the future here. And um, I'm also going to be working on a customization pack here where it's going to have different barrels and grips uh, to different, you know, adjust it to your size of hand and your specific needs there. So right now I got a really stubby barrel. It's literally just the whole shells as they're being fired and a, a bit of a stubbier grip as it were. Also got right now a longer barrel here that's actually choked down. So if you know anything about shotgun chokes, how it actually narrows your spread and makes it so that your um, essentially your 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 shot travels in a narrower pathway, uh, this actually does something similar to that with your airsoft BBs. Um, though, if you know anything about hop-up effect, it does have a bit of a hop-up effect as well. So while yes, your BBs will be going in a narrow pathway for a little bit longer at the end of that, it it spreads out like crazy. So it's a bit of an interesting effect with that. So like I said, I'm going to be designing some more barrels and grips with these. So expect a customization pack to come out in the future. But for right now, you can actually go on to my mini factory for where I have this thing posted and you can download this design and print one out for yourself. All right. I'm Joshua Pixel Steins. Thanks for watching and keep on making.